for my broth. We really taste the lemongrass, we really taste the curry mm. leaves. Mm. going to eat one of our favorite cuisines in the world. We'll hit up four different Malaysian spots here in Manhattan and in Queens. Our first stop would be Kopitiam here in Manhattan. Kopitiam is the most popular Malaysian spot in the whole city right now. So the owner and chef Kyo Pang is from the island of Penang that we love in Malaysia when we went to visit. And as the name implies, Kopi means coffee in Malay and Tiam means shop. So it is a coffee shop. And so, so windy. <laughs> and it's windy. <laughs> So at this coffee shop, they specialize in certain types of Malaysian coffee and they have little snacks. So that's what we're gonna go and get. So we're gonna hit that up right now. All right, we're starting off with some black coffee. Basically, it's called Kopi O, Penang black coffee. So very dark. They roast the beans in fat, actually, which is really interesting about this spot here. Their beans are they're roasted in fat, usually margarine. It smells really good. Let's take a sip. Mm. But it's not acidic, it's very like smooth, balanced. It's got a really unique flavor compared to most black coffees you try. Cracker right here, Let's dip it. We're gonna get two types of coffees and we're gonna get one iced, one hot. So we got this one iced. This is the uh, white coffee, it's called the Beck coffee. These beans are roasted in margarine and then the powder looks, it's whitish, that's why you have this kind of lighter color to it. It's also mixed in with the condensed milk and it's pulled so it's actually poured down like that. So it gets more of that really nice foam on top. And if you've seen our Greek coffee video, you know you, we love our foamy coffee, so I'm gonna take a sip of this. <coughs> They're not too sweet, but you definitely take it, takes a very unique flavor, almost, a bit vanilla-y, really nice flavor. Definitely an absolute contrast to the black coffee, which is stronger. This is more, if you like more of a mellower, uh, sweeter, lighter coffee, this one's for you. They do say on the menu that it has less caffeine than the Kopi O, so this is the one to go if you don't want to be too jittery or something too strong. A little snack here, got something sweet. It's kaya toast, so for those who don't know, kaya is made with pandan leaf and coconut milk. Is it the nice green color is the pandan, so this toast, it's, it's slightly toast on the outside, not too dark, this thick toast. Uh, since it has butter, let's take a bite. Mm. The butter flavor is not too strong, it tastes definitely more of the sweet, so you definitely taste that pandan right away. Such a wonderful flavor mixed in with this cream, so it's, they're pretty generous with the kaya here. Add it. Kaya on my uh, mouth, and I added some more. So good. You want to get every bit of kaya that's on here. You don't want any of it to waste because it's so good. Mm. So we made it to our next stop, which is Let's Makan. Let's Makan in English means Let's eat. The owners of this spot, they hail from Ipo. So the chef here hails from Ipo, Malaysia. A destination we'd love to go to. We heard the food's incredible mm -hmm. there. So here, there's a couple specialties that we're gonna check out. Let's do it. All right, so the apam balik we ordered is called the auntie's favorite. Apam balik is a pancake that's made with, uh, it's got flour in here. It's a specially made pan from Malaysia because it's cooked very slowly. make it in front of you. They put the batter in the pan. It's cooked very slowly. As you see the whole process is really cool to watch. The batter is green because it has pandan in there. And then inside the pancake, it's sweet. So you have crushed peanuts, you have some butter and some corn. It's a little sweet too with some sugar in there. So we're gonna take a bite. Mm. So the peanuts are really the first flavor you get. There's a lot of crushed peanuts in here. And the traditional pambalik is just supposed to have butter, sugar, peanuts. But we got the one with the corn and the pandan, because why not, right? We love all of it. The pandan flavor is more muted here. Not very strong. I think it's because the peanuts in general are so dominant flavor here, but the corn is also a nice touch. All right, so we also got kue lapis, which is a also a popular street food in Malaysia. 
Yeah, it's popular sweet. So kue are the sweets. They actually, they call it here nyonya kue. So here at Let's Makan, they're also very well known for their nyonya kue. So that's the sweets that are made with coconut milk, uh, rice flour, and they steam it. So this is a very nice colorful one. It's called the kue lapis. So let's take a bite. Mm. The coconut milk, very light. It's like a gelatin. I'm down in here too, it's really nice. So there are some layers of green in here to go with the pink. These are really nice, like really nice texture, nice flavor, not too sweet. Mm. Awesome. We're back in Queens. That's right. We're heading to our third stop. Our Little House Cafe is just full of surprises. They even have weekend specials. They actually will tell you over a month in advance. We're here on a weekday, so we're not getting one of the specials. So, uh, curry meat, young tau fu, there's all these different. So young tau fu is a mix of things, right? So you have this tofu skin right here. It's really thin, crispy, fried. You're gonna hear how crispy it is when I take the bite. Serious ASMR action going on. It is so crispy, you gotta eat it first. You have the eggplant, which has fish paste in it. That's one of the young tau fu. You have the thick yellow egg noodles. And we have the green pepper, the spicy green pepper with fish paste. There's tofu, it's also fish cake. So you got a lot going on in this bowl. So the broth itself is very orange, it's very rich. Uh, lots of lemongrass flavor in here. You have the curry leaves. It's some of the richest curry broth we've ever tasted in Malaysia restaurant here in New York City. You really taste the lemongrass, you really taste the curry mm. leaves. And that broth also has a nice spicy kick to it. Mm. This broth alone is amazing. Then you add in all the other ingredients. So another specialty here is the char kwai tiao. So char kwai tiao is fried flat rice noodle. And here they stir fry it in the wok with a lot of different things. You have shrimp, squid, it's fish cake, pickled chilies, it's extra sambal belachan, bean sprouts, scallion. There's so much going on in here. The aroma is just incredible. I, I, I can't even tell the really just take a bite. Mm. You really get that wok hay, smoke from the wok, the flavor of the wok. Those rice noodles are perfectly cooked. They got the right level of chewiness to them. Oh. Now let's try it with the sambal bellas. Fermented shrimp paste. Perfect level. It's not too funky, it's not too salty. It's got the right level of funk to add to that char quite see how it takes that flavor to an entirely next level. You're right. Eat this right here, this beautiful dish, we got nasi lemak. It is considered often to be the national dish of Malaysia. It's just fragrant coconut rice. It's topped with half a boiled egg, curry chicken, cucumber, peanuts, fried dry anchovies, the ikan bilis, onion, and the sambal. The sambal is a must. You mix it in. We're gonna do all this mixing. Oh, Try some of the rice, you know, the very essential ingredient. The nasi lemak is the nasi, so let's take a bite of the nasi. Mm. So you do taste that coconut in there, the coconut milk. It looks very different than the balachan that we had before. So I'll show the sambal that comes with the nasi lemak. Got a little heat, but it also has a nice sweetness to it too, not salty. It's, this is a really nice flavor here. We have the kiki kambilis, Jumi's favorite, crunchy, too fishy. Bit of saltiness, just the right amount. What they do, you just mix it all up, all those lovely flavors together. So we mentioned earlier that we are in Queens, we are in Elmhurst, which is one of the neighborhood in Queens. restaurants and grocery stores yep. in this neighborhood. Broadway, Elmhurst Avenue train station. You have a lot of different Asian supermarkets, uh, restaurants. You have Taiwanese restaurants. You have Thai. You have Indonesian, Taiwanese, Chinese, all types. Filipino. But there's also, yeah, that's right, <laughs> Filipino too. Shout out Philippines. Uh, but there's also three Malaysian restaurants within one block. We're going to take you to one that's very special. It's an OG restaurant in this neighborhood. The first place I ever ate Malaysian food before. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, 
Thank you. Salud. All right, so we're here. It tastes good. Uh, you can smell the belachan right away when you're here. That's always a good sign. You gotta love the funk. Uh, we're drinking our wine out of the paper coffee cups. It's the beautiful thing about Taste Good also is BYOB. So feel free, drink your wine. Salud. All right. So first up, we got the roti chanai. Always a must order when you're here. Uh, it's a small appetizer portion. It's very different than what we had in Penang. Best roti chanai we've ever had in our lives in Penang. We went there twice, almost missed our flight on the second trip. It was so worth it. Th that one was much thicker, spongier. This is uh, more fluffy, light, very buttery, flaky. Let's take a bite. We're gonna dip it in this uh, curry right here. The curry has chicken and potato. Take a bite. Mm. It's got a little slight heat to it, not very spicy, the chicken. Um, got a nice coconut milk flavor. It goes really well with this uh, roti. The roti is very flaky and buttery. What's a Malaysian food video without some laksa, right? Laksa is a very popular dish. So we already had the curry meat, so we didn't want to get the curry laksa. So we got the asab laksa, a very different laksa here. So it comes with uh, thick rice noodles. It is a spicy broth with fish, mint, pineapple, tamarind. Ah, let's just get into it. Ooh. Wow, Lux is like a flavor explosion. It's got so many elements to it. I, I can't even count them all, but to break it down for you one by one. So you have the smoky fish in there. I believe it's mackerel. It's a very meaty fish. You have that fishiness in there that's a little smoky and spicy. From a little bit of kick in there. Yeah, it's tangy from the tamarind broth. It's a little sweet from the pineapple. Then you have the mint, it's refreshing. So you have all these elements here. And then you have the cucumber to kind of lighten things up a bit. Really, really delicious soup right here. Perfect for the cold weather. It's a flavor explosion. All right, so of course we had to get the beef rendang. On the menu they call it love me tender because the beef is supposed to be very tender. Let's find that out. Beef rendang is cooked in a coconut milk. Not very spicy, this one. You can taste a little cinnamon, a little clove in there, a little lemongrass. Very nice. We got the chicken fat rice to go with it, so definitely need some rice to absorb that sauce. Jimmy agrees. <laughs> rice is life, right? I love me some sauce to bring down. All right. I have to get our veggies in somehow. <laughs> Not really had any veggies in this video yet, so we're going all in with it. We got it with the Kong Kong Belachan. So Kong Kong is water spinach, and the Belachan is that shrimp paste. You may recall the Belachan that we had at Little House Cafe. This one's crunchy on the bottom, then you have the leafy outside. Belachan here is not very strong. It doesn't really give you too much of the funk compared to what Belachan often does, but the Kong Kong itself has an excellent wok hay on there. You can really taste the flavor of that wok, which that's what takes this dish to another level. Though it would be nice if it was a little spicier and had a little more funk to it, but happy with it nonetheless. That is it for our Malaysian food tour here in New York City. We hit up four spots today. We had a nice mix. We had some coffee, we had some sweets, we had a couple different soups. We had.